Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Last week one of my supporters on Patreon challenged me to build a deck around a barbed servitor. This 4 mana 1-1 one -one has indestructible, although it does enter the battlefield as a suspect, so it has menace but it cannot block, so it's not the best defensive creature, although whenever it deals combat damage to a player we get to draw a card and lose one life, and to discourage the opponent from blocking, whenever the servitor is dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. Now we've seen these stuffy doll-like effects in the past, and in standard we were able to combine them with Starve Extinction to deal 20 damage to each creature to hopefully win the game on the spot. While we don't have Starve Extinction in standard, I immediately thought of Corpse Explosion. As an additional cost to cast it, we have to exile a creature card from our graveyard, and then it deals damage equal to that exiled creature's power to each creature and each planeswalker. And it so happens that we have an 18-powered Yargle and Multani in standard, so the plan is simple, cast our Barbed Servitor, have Yargle and Multani end up in the graveyard, and then use Corpse Explosion to deal 18 damage to everything, and then we get to redirect the damage with the Servitor to hopefully win the game on the spot. So for that plan to work we'll need some discard outlets so we can have Yargle end up in the graveyard, and we can do so with Bitter Reunion, discard a card and draw two, and can even maybe sacrifice it in the late game to give our creatures haste, so it can also maybe set up a surprise attack from Yargle and Multan if we just hard cast it, so that can also be an alternate angle of attack. And then we've got a Blood Tithe Harvester as an early creature that can make a Blood Token, which we can also use to discard Yargle and Multani. And as a three-part creature, if it does end up in the graveyard, can maybe set up an early Corpse Explosion if we just need to deal three to everything. Then we've got a bit of mana acceleration with the Iron Crag and the Celestus, which also doubles up as another discard outlet. And then Trumpeting Carnosaur also has a great synergy here, as we can use it as early removal, dealing 3 damage. And then it also ends up in our graveyard as a 7-powered creature that can uh, be used alongside Corpse Explosion if we don't draw Yargle and Multani. And it's also a decent card to just play for 6 mana, as we get to discover 5 and maybe discover into our Barbed Servitor, or a card like Burn Down the House, dealing 5 to each creature and each planeswalker, so that can also deal a lot of damage alongside our barbed servitor, and conveniently both Carnosaur and Yargle and Multani have 6 toughness, so we can wipe the board with Burn Out the House while preserving our own creatures, and maybe set up a lethal attack with our Yargle and Multani especially, so these have pretty good synergy as well. And then to round things out, two copies of the Elder Dragon War as another board wipe potentially, although we can always read ahead, and then this gives us another discard and draw effect, eventually making a 4-4 dragon as well. So yeah, that's the current build. It went through a few changes. We also had Brotherhood's End in the deck at some point as another sweeper that can deal damage, and we had some other discard and draw effect, but Bitter Union giving the team haste actually proved to be pretty important, so ended up going with uh, full four copies. And then Ill-Tempered Loner is another creature that has a similar ability to Barbed Servitor, but it doesn't have Indestructible, so it's kind of a one-time use and it's much easier for the opponent to interact with it, so that also did not end up making the final cut. And then our mana base has a few utility lands. Proving Ground can be cycled, but of course also important mana fixing if we want to try and hardcast Yargle and Multani. We've got a few other green sources. And then the theater helping us surveil can also find those missing combo pieces. Or if we get lucky, surveil an expensive creature into the graveyard to set up our corpse explosion. And then Restless Vents, a creature land that can also help us discard and draw. And then the channel lands offer a bit more utility as well. I'll be trying this in the play queue just to avoid the same matchups like Boros Convoke and Monorad over and over, and those are going to be pretty tough even though we have a few sweepers. We're pretty slow to get going and our combo finish is also pretty janky in nature, so don't expect the deck to be particularly competitive, but uh, maybe we'll be proven wrong in the games here. So let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Harvester might end up in the graveyard to enable Corpse Explosion if we need an early board wipe. And uh, I'll start with Vents, wait on the theater until we have a bit more information. Opponent also red-black with Harvester. So with our blood token we can potentially discard Yargle and Multani if we draw it. And Gix is next. So definitely want to trade. And then I could Corpse Explosion, could also just play Iron Crag and then next turn burn down the house. Let them draw one card, that's probably okay. And then even if they have Deep Cavern Bat, we have multiple sweepers, so it's not going to disrupt us too much. 
And then do need Haunted Ridge. Opponent does get to draw. And hopefully they play another creature that dies to burn down. Perfect. Alright, got corpse explosions for days. So yeah, just uh, need to find Servitor and Yargle. Can also use Restless Vents to sculpt our hand in the meantime. There's the bat. Probably takes another burn down. Leaving Corpse Explosion to deal three damage here with a Harvester. Takes an explosion instead. And discards a Harvester. Alright, there's Yargola Multani. Perfect. So we can just cast that and uh, potentially attack with it by clearing a path with Burndown. I think we still decline on Iron Crag, since there's a good chance they'll end up removing my creature, and we may need the extra mana. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. If we equip Yargle, then it could kill the opponent in one attack. Just doesn't seem very likely. Preacher's fine. They'll survive our three damage corpse explosion, and then now Deep Cavern Bat has to take Burn Down the House. But then Corpse Explosion can still get our other sweepers back, essentially. Okay. Um, let's see, is there anything else we can do? No, I think we start with Corpse Explosion. And then I can't burn down the house this turn. And we don't have any creatures left for a second Corpse Explosion. But I can animate Restless Vents attack. Although, let's see here. I would have to discard first and then draw. And both of my cards in hand that would be left are potentially useful. But I guess we don't have to. Can just get in for 2, put the opponent to 18. Which conveniently is Yargle's power. Would be a different story if we had... Servitor in hand, because then I wouldn't mind trading Yargle for Preacher. But as is, I think we keep both sweepers. And then we'll see if Burn Down the House can win us the game next turn. If not, then we're back on the Servitor plan. Harvester can use a Blood Token to keep digging. Preacher will also draw a card if they attack. So yeah, Shieldred was not good enough. Preacher attacks. So they've got two cards left to maybe deal with Yargle. But uh, we're just gonna burn down the house, attack, and yeah, our opponent explodes. So good all attack for 18 on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got uh, what looks like a keeper. A little slow to get started without an untapped land on turn two. But uh, Celestus can maybe cast turn 5, Yargle and Multani, and now we can even play Harvester on Curve. So I'm not quite sure yet if we want to discard Yargle or try and hard cast it. Both uh, could be valid approaches. And with Bitter Union we could even give it haste if we have enough mana. Opponent with an Evangel. So maybe playing a blue-black draw 2 synergy deck. There's another Yargle, so play Celestis for now, and uh, I think we probably hang back if our opponent plays Gix next turn. We would prefer trading, and 3 damage could matter since 3 plus 18 could uh, deal lethal, but I don't want them to draw too many extra cards for free here. Their opponent's going to consider. Now, of course, Evangel will have Menace, so can block it. So attacking might have been better. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they're playing Gix. Plays well with a 1-1 Flyer as well. Could also use the Blood Token to discard. But I think we hang on to it for now. 
and then start with Bitter Union. Discarding a Celestus, maybe. Fine Corpse Explosion. Okay, so I'll hit for three. And just play it at Proving Ground. Alright, that's taken care of. So we also have the option of uh, Corpse Explosion Exiling Harvester to deal three. But we'll start with Yargola Multani. Scholar also enables Evangel. And cut down, discard it. So yeah, getting there by attacking with Yargle might be tricky. So finding Servitor for the combo might be more realistic. Which could be a reason to discard a Yargle and Multani, but maybe if they only have one removal spell, the second Yargle could get there, especially with haste. So I'll still hang on to it. End of turn, consider. If they have removal, I'm sure we'll see it here. A lot of ways Yargle can combo kill. Alright, it's just gonna be a shielded. And uh, consider so our opponent does gain a bit of life back. We'll see if they're willing to trade for Yargle and Multani. Well, burn down the house was perfect. Can wipe their board and attack for 18. We're still fine with an extra lane since that enables Yargle with haste. And we'll see if we need the corpse explosion or not. Can deal three right now. So enough to deal with a scholar. So they're looking for another go for the throats. And looks like they found one. Okay, so we'll just play Yargle with haste now. Unless we top deck Servitor, then we can Servitor Corpse Explosion for 18 damage. Which would be pretty clean. Alright, so... Yeah, I need to just play Yargle and then give it a haste, force them to chump. We're not dead on board, because we're only taking four off Restless Reef. But I will hang on to the lane to maybe discard next turn to the Blood Token. Or to Celestus. Siren, we can maybe Corpse Explosion by dealing three. And they also have the uh, Restless Reef on defense. It does have Death Touch, so that can actually trade for Yargle. Probably just want to Bitter Union discard the land. And then let's see. If I draw Servitor, I wouldn't be able to play Corpse Explosion alongside it. If I use a Blood Token, discard land. Then I guess we would also be short of casting both Servitor and Corpse Explosion. So I think we're better off going for the Reunion then. Or I guess we could also discard Reunion to the Blood Token, and then I have enough mana for Servitor, Corpse Explosion, but they could also have some counter spells here. We see Spell Pierce. So we'll start with the Reunion. Find another Yargle and Multani, although I wouldn't be able to cast it here. So yeah, let's just attack. And then maybe force a trade with the uh, Restless Reef. Or they can chum block. That's fine. Can activate Celestus. And then if we don't draw anything better, probably play a tapped Vents. Found our Servitor, okay. So we've got Servitor plus Corpse Explosion as a potential line now. So probably don't need the vents. Pass a turn. So your opponent needs something to hold off Yargle. 
and then interaction for servitor plus explosion. Looks like they have removal here. Well, I'll start by attacking, which can maybe tap them out. Opponent just trumping. So try servitor. And then, yeah, we could Corpse Explosion. How does this go wrong if our opponent has a Bound spell for Servitor, but then they would have bound Yargle before they chumped? So, I don't think that's likely. So, sure. I guess the one exception is if they have Spell Pierce exactly, but then... I mean, we still have the same two creatures on the battlefield. So, does it resolve? It does, and we get to deal 18 damage. I guess they could technically counter the triggered ability somehow, but nope, opponent explodes. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keeper. Got Harvester to set up a smaller corpse explosion if needed. And then we're just missing Yargle and Multani to combo kill with Servitor. Elder Dragon War can also discard and draw a bunch. Opponent Mono Black. So we do have to watch out for Edict effects like, of course, Shieldred's Edict and uh, Liliana, which could get rid of the Servitor. Cut down deals with Harvester. And there's Yargle and Multani, perfect. So I could already discard it now, although we have to watch out for. Uh, graveyard Trespasser exiling cards from our graveyard. So maybe we want to wait to uh, discard the Argyle Multani until we're ready to Corpse Explosion, which means could just deal with Underdog right now by getting rid of Harvester. Although Elder Dragon War conveniently deals two damage. So maybe I just pass without doing anything. But yeah, I'm definitely afraid of an Edict making us sack the Servitor. Yeah, there's a Trespasser, so gets rid of Harvester, so Corpse Explosion is no longer an option. But with a Blood Token, we will eventually be able to discard Yargle to set up our combo. So we'll want to keep that around. And then for now, I think, play Servitor over Elder Dragon War. And hope they don't remove it for a turn. It's not going to be an instant kill with her opponent at 21, but uh, it's still going to deal a nice bit of damage in addition to wiping the board. So take six. And a shield roots next, all right. So we'll draw, draw again from the blood token, so we'll be at two. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to wipe the board here. Sadly, don't have time to play second servitor first, which would uh, definitely instantly kill the opponent. So, this is gonna hurt. Carnosaur, okay. Corpse explosion. Deal 18 to everything. And may as well attack. We're also dead to a blitzed underdog. Okay, so we're at one now. And next turn we can damage our own Barbed Servitor, either with Elder Dragon War or Carnosaur. And I guess with a land we could even use Carnosaur and the second Corpse Explosion for even more damage. And yeah, opponent blitz his Underdog, but I guess it costs him two life with them at two, so they just explode. So yeah, I guess uh, Blitzed Underdog wasn't quite good enough here. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a Keeper. Servitor into Elder Dragon War, looking for some more damage-based sweepers, basically. Start with events, wait on theater until we have a bit more information on our hand and on what the opponent's up to. And then Celestis can also maybe give us some card selection. So red-green, Copper Line Gorge usually points towards a more aggressive deck. So with that in mind, probably don't need another green source To 
Turn to Bodyguard. They'll survive our Elder Dragon War. But next turn we could burn down the house. Ideally play Servitor first so we deal 5 damage, but we'll see. Jewel Thief is next. So we take another 6 damage in order to play Servitor first. And if their next creature is legendary, it's not like Burn Out the House would clear it. But it's possible they ramp out some Planeswalker that we can take out. So I think I'll still try Servitor first. And then next turn, hopefully clear the board. And then Servitor can also start drawing extra cards. Gonna be a Reckless Stormseeker, alright, that's fine. Does mean we take a 9 damage here. But it does get taken out by Burn Down. So I wanna cast that before attacking. And hope they can't make their creatures indestructible some other way. Alright, they do have a Tyvar's stand. So Stormseeker survives, and that could easily threaten lethal next turn. Let's uh, surveil, see what's on top. Corpse Explosion. So I think we keep that, and then draw into it by attacking. Does put us to 7, so more likely to die. But we'll need to both draw Corpse Explosion and some expensive creature to put in the graveyard. Can potentially use Elder Dragon War as a discard outlet. So it's realistic that we can get there next turn. But uh, I'll be at 7. And yeah, the Quake Mole can certainly kill us in one attack here. So the one damage didn't matter. GG, so on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got our Servitor plus Burn Down the House. Missing Yargle and Corpse Explosion. But uh, we've got some redraws with Bitter Reunion. So we'll try to put those to use. Carnosaur's not bad either. Alright, there's the explosion, so at the very least we can deal 7 with Carnosaur. I think I'm still down to play Bitter Union. Given our opponent's Grixis colors, I don't think we'll end up dealing 3 to a creature with Carnosaur, so I may as well discard it now. And we're pretty far from casting it for 6 mana. Found Yargle and Multani, so we've got all the pieces. Although opponent being a more controlling deck could easily have some counter spells as well. But uh, yeah, we'll go Iron Crag plus Tamped Events. And then maybe next turn we can try to resolve a Servitor. Opponent negates, good to get that out of the way. And it doesn't really slow us down too much. Second Reunion is going to want to discard Yargle and Multani. Opponent with a 3 mana Jace to maybe hit their land drop. Milling us could work to our advantage if they mill Yargle and Multani. But uh, I'll take this opportunity to resolve Servitor. And then next turn we could Reunion, discard Yargle, and then if we draw an untapped land for Explosion we could combo kill. And unless they have an Edict effect it's going to be tricky for them to remove the Servitor. They can shrink it down, of course, but we don't care. And we've got to land. So we've got all the pieces we need. Problem is, opponent's got 4 mana up, so I'm sure they'll have some counter spells as well. But maybe we can bait out a counter spell with Burn Down the House. Deal 5 to everything, would deal with Jace. So they may want to protect it here. Torch the tower doesn't do anything, in fact it just deals them 2 damage. Okay, that worked out. And then I'm just gonna attack because I can. There's no worry of a wandering emperor exiling our tapped creature. Opponent now with memory deluge, so yeah, they seem to be tapped out. I'll start by attacking on the off chance that they have a bound spell. 
And who doesn't like drawing an extra card? And how about a corpse explosion? 18 damage to the face. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And our hand's kind of slow, but... Uh, I think I'm still willing to try since we have two of our three combo pieces. So just missing the Servitor and Elder Dragon War can potentially help us find it as well. Facing blue-green, maybe a ramp deck. Or maybe the uh, blue-green artifact deck. Well, Elder Dragon War dealing two is looking good right now. And we can keep up Carnosaur as well. Can also help set up our Corpse Explosion. Okay, so that might be the play now to deal with the uh, Sentinel. So I may as well use Carnosaur now then. Or we can just let them keep the Sentinel, play Elder Dragon War, and then Chapter 2 we can discard Carnosaur to set up Corpse Explosion. Since it does feel kind of like a waste to use Carnosaur to take out a 1 1 when we're about to clear them anyway. And then I can keep Corpse Explosion for the combo instead of as kind of a temporary sweeper. Alright, found our Servitor, so now we've got everything we need to combo. Do need to get Yargle in the Graveyard, which Elder Dragon War can accomplish. So I think we start here to stem the bleeding a little bit. And then we can take a few hits from the Sentinel, and hopefully they don't present any counter spells. Second Sentinel, that's fine. And a Spyglass Siren. Got another Corpse Explosion. So a Carnosaur, Yargol, and maybe even a Land can go. And find another Servitor. So we could Corpse Explosion now, just to kind of stem the bleeding, play Harvester. Would maybe be the safest play overall. Or I could just play Servitor and then next turn hope to win with Corpse Explosion. I think we take the safer approach because we are dealing with a deck that has counter spells after all. Next turn we also get a dragon. Alright, Pwn is gonna go exploring onto the Ginger Brute, finding Schooner. We have double Servitor in case they counter one of them. But it looks like our Pwn's gonna keep on exploring, finding a Wormlet. And then need to hit another non-land card for Ginger Brute to attack past Harvester. Tough cookies next. Okay, so I could take four. What's the worst case scenario here? Next turn opponent could maybe play Zoetic Glyph, turning this into a 5-5, five five, activate Ginger Brute, make it unblockable, but then Harvester can still chump. So no need to chump right now. Plus we would also get our dragon, so we should be relatively safe. If we want to play around a food token, getting the opponent some life, I guess I could attack with Harvester now. Just so we can still maybe have lethal through our opponent gaining three. Ginger Brute also technically a food that could gain them some life. So yeah, just need them to tap out and then not uh, bounce the Servitor somehow. The Dragon is happy to chump if needed. And they do still have two mana for a counter in hand. Yeah, I mean, I guess if her opponent counters our Corpse Explosion, what's our backup plan? Don't have a great one. So maybe I need to go digging for some other answer here. Maybe should have jumped with a Harvester when I had the chance. Alright, never mind, opponent does step out for a tough cookie. So now the ghost is clear. 
I right, can attack first just because. And then Corpse Explosion will do it. But yeah, for opponent did have Disruption Protocol is often played in these decks. They could have actually still uh, killed us. So maybe jumping when I had the chance was still worth it. Alright, and then a Corpse Explosion to end the game. 18 damage to the face. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. We've got double Servitor, and then Carnosaur can end up in the graveyard to enable Corpse Explosion. Facing green aggro. So we're going to be a little slow to get on the board here. Probably have to discard Carnosaur turn 3 to stem the bleeding. Now we've got Yargal and Multani, but no discard outlet. So it's going to take us a little bit of effort to actually get it in the graveyard. So we'll use Carnosaur and then probably take out the Rookie, means taking more damage. But next turn with Explosion we should be able to wipe the board anyway. And this way we don't give them any unnecessary clue tokens. Bloomkin is next. Take seven. So yeah, we absolutely have to explosion here. Don't have a choice. Servitor also cannot block, so it won't be all that helpful on defense. But we can hard cast Tiargal and Multani next turn as well. And Nissa, that's scary. Makes a 4 4. There's another corpse explosion, so now if. Um, we end up trading Yargle and Multani, we can set that up once again. Damage happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Opponent is at 16, so... We'll block, maybe see a pump spell. Or a second main fight. Okay. Well, that was a, a weird play. They maybe misclicked and meant to finish off Yargle and Multani. But uh, yeah, as it turns out, we would have been able to Corpse Explosion, exile Yargle and Multani, dealing 18 damage to the Servitor, winning us the game. So yeah, didn't quite get the finish I was hoping for, but I'll take it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and... Uh, yeah, we've got a promising hand. Harvester can discard Yargle and Multani with a blood token, so we're just a servitor away from potentially setting up our combo. I do want an extra land, but since we're desperately digging for servitor, I think we just get a little greedy here. It means I wouldn't be able to play Harvester turn two, but I don't think that's a disaster. A Restless Vance. Gives us some more draw and discard, but uh, we've got Bitter Union to make sure we keep hitting our land drops as well. Opponent with a Deep Cavern Bant now. Probably takes Harvester. And then next turn will Bitter Union discarding Yargle and Multani. Nope, opponent took the Corpse Explosion. So they may have removal for Harvester. But I'll start here. If they remove Harvester, we're free to use the Blood Token. If not, we want to get our Corpse Explosion back. Is their opponent on Esper? And no turn 3, Rafine. So we get to untap. And uh, yeah, let's just use Harvester now.
that works. And then I could play a land before casting Bitter Union if we're afraid of a Make Disappear. That's probably okay. And then discard Yargle and Multani. Even though we're somewhat close to casting it. Could also get rid of maybe like a Proving Ground. And then we still have the Blood Token to discard Yargle and Multani later. But if I draw two lanes here, then we might be better off casting it. Okay, well, we drew two lanes, so we may end up casting it instead. Opponent with a Virtue of Loyalty, making a 2 2 end of turn. Opponent keeping up 4 mana this time. Take our turn, find another Harvester we can play. Could also immediately give it haste to take out their knights, but that doesn't seem necessary. Bitter Union could be quite effective alongside Yargul to immediately attack for 18. Opponent's got another knight. Well, we've got several sweepers in hand, so I'm not too threatened by them. But I'm also fine trading here since they have vigilance anyways. The only exception is if Harvester could maybe take out something bigger with two blood tokens. But they're still burned out the house. Alright, Wandering Emperor. I'm pretty happy to bait that out. They get to get first strike. But uh, next turn, burn out the house can clean everything up. Could also go for the greedy approach and cast Yargle first to then burn down the house afterwards. Which would clear a path for Yargle to maybe attack. But have to imagine they have some form of interaction for it. And if they have counter spells, that could work out poorly. I'll take my turn. Carnosaur's not bad either. Can maybe just hard cast that next turn. Years of training for this. But for now I'll pass. And then best case scenario if we discover with Carnosaur is that we hit our servitor. All right, let's give that a try. Opponent does have the counter spell, like we suspected. Okay, now with the land, we could maybe go for a hasty Yargle, although it's not going to be great in the face of another Wandering Emperor potentially exiling it. It's going to be a Denik. Okay, and Rafine at long last. Okay, so I can play Yargle. Just without haste. Could also, let's see here. Yeah, this doesn't target anything in my graveyard, so Danik doesn't really interfere with our corpse explosion, but we could wipe the board. But uh, yeah, I think I play Argle first. Let them answer it. And then... Won't quite be able to both cast Servitor and Explosion if we draw it, or a mana short. Just Rafine attacking, so they don't have an answer to Yargul yet. Put on discarding cutdown. And they pass a turn. So they're likely sitting on a Wandering Emperor, is my guess. So for now, we could play Celestus and activate it, just to use the ability here. And look for Servitor. Find Iron Crag, probably worse than a land. And then I could play the land on the off chance that I want to use a Blood Token here. But wouldn't be attacking into what could be an Emperor. Would rather just hold off Denik and other ground creatures until we find our Servitor. And yep, opponent doesn't do anything end of turn, so no additional virtues. So it makes Emperor quite likely. Now they are still pressuring me with Rafine. Although I can still deal with it if I really have to using Corpse Explosion. Exiling Carnosaur to deal 7. The only drawback being that it also answers Yargle.
Alright, opponent's gonna keep up their mana once again. I mean, I could pivot and just uh, discard the Argyle with a blood token now. And see if we can find our Servitor. Another Celestis. And a Carnosaur that we can hard cast. Can pay for Make Disappear without casualty. It's gonna be Airtie instead. At least we get to draw. And find Iron Crag, which I could still play here, which would then switch it back to daytime. And I can even use the Blood Token if I'd like. Now I could attack, but that leaves me more vulnerable on the way back as well. Opponent can just trump with Danik or even take it. And then attack me back for, let's see, could it be a lethal 7 plus 3? There's no creature land. So, unlikely to be a lethal unless Emperor adds a plus 1 counter and they have 3 non-lands to discard. So it's not impossible. So it's safer to hang back, I think. I guess with the Celestis gaining 1 we're maybe safe still. Okay, Elder Dragon War could be more useful. Now even if we find Servitor, it's not an instant kill with her opponent still at 20. And then now go for the throat, answers Yargle, so... Opponent can attack all out, maybe gain some life with Danik. They know about the corpse explosion, so we can wipe their board. But they also have a plaza to maybe keep a creature alive. So things aren't looking great. Is Elder Dragon War good enough, or do I need to loot it away? So we're facing a lethal next turn. Opponent's assuredly going to keep up their mana for Plaza. So yeah, Elder Dragon War just doesn't do enough. And find another Yargle and Multani. Can play it, give it haste, still runs into Wandering Emperor is a problem. And also doesn't uh, win us the game here. So that's not good enough. So maybe step one is Corpse Explosion. Could go for Carnosaur as well, since seven damage is enough. And then if they save Denik, I can play a blocker. If they save Rafine, we're potentially only taking three. And if they save the flyer, then I guess we can play Yargle and give it haste, since we won't be able to block. They will save Rafine. So, in that case, we'll play a hasty Yargle. And at this point, we can transform Iron Crag. Don't think we'll need it for mana. Bones at six. So let's say we draw another Corpse Explosion, I could now equip Yargle, Exile, Carnosaur, so we deal 7 to everything, Yargle survives, and we can maybe attack for lethal. So Rafine grows, I guess with Wandering Emperor we're still dead here if they had a plus 1 counter. Alright, no Emperor, so we're still at 1. Also didn't see them discard it. So possible I could have been attacking with Yargle all along. Can uh, activate Celestis. And Restless Vents. Probably not gonna do it here. Well, all I can do is attack. Opponent likely has... Some flash creatures that can get in the way, or another go for the throat. Artai resurrected. So we need another sweeper here. And did not get there. So yeah, we should be dead on the way back now. Alright, GG's. Celestus, with one last look, finds Harvester. So yeah, 
Servitor was uh, never to be found, and we saw half of our deck. So it was an interesting back and forth. Maybe played a little too scared around another Wandering Emperor. But I'm not sure how much that would have changed the outcome. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand uh, has a little sketchy in the sense that we don't have a creature in graveyard to enable Corpse Explosion if we need it as an early board wipe. Although we could get lucky with a Surveil. But I think it's worth a shot. Got quite a few looting effects. And then we're just a Servitor away from comboing. Opponent starting with a Dream Thief. And their Servitor, okay. Play Theater, Vents is... Still a land, and we need those, so I think we keep. So I'm still looking for a discard outlet. Could maybe use defense as well, but that's a little more difficult to set up. For now we're getting beaten down by some 1-1 flyers. Although if they play maybe gigs, they can turn those into card draw engines. All right, no gigs at least. And underdogs next. I guess I'll play another tap land here. So we're looking at Servitor into Burn Down the House, potentially. Mono Black could have some uh, edict effects that make us sack a creature, which can get around indestructible. So that would be unfortunate. Another Dream Thief, okay. Well, probably need to Elder Dragon War now. Wipe the board, and uh, next turn we can discard Yargle and Multani. So that was a good top deck. So we're still potentially in trouble if they have an Edict effect. Otherwise, with our opponent at 18, Barbed Servitor, and then Corpse Explosion could be game. And potentially need to watch out for Graveyard Hate as well. But uh, yeah, since we only get one chance to discard, it's not like I have a Blood Token that I can hang on to. They can still make use of their creatures out of the Graveyard to an extent. It's gonna be a Preacher next. And Celestus is a draw. So, definitely discarding Yargle. Probably keep a backup explosion in case they make me discard one. And then, I guess Celestus doesn't do much for me since I wouldn't be casting it now. And then Burn Down could be good insurance. Okay. Play Servitor and pass. And hope they don't make me sacrifice it. It's not the most threatening creature by itself, so I could easily see them ignoring it. Just gotta hope their hand is cut down and go for the throat instead of Shieldred's Edict. Edict not the most powerful card in a meta with a lot of token decks like Boros Convoke. So most people are on go for the throat over Edicts, but could always see a mix of both of them. All right, we get to see Dream Thief draw a card. So they don't seem to have an answer in hand yet. So now we're just worried about Graveyard Hate. Liliana, yeah, that uh, can make us sack the Servitor. So that's an answer, sadly. All right, so we'll have to find another Servitor. For now, we can burn down the house to reset the board. Or we can give our dragon haste with bitter reunion can finish off liliana yeah i guess we want to keep digging towards servitor anyway and then what do i get rid of probably another yargle and multani in case they have trespasser we'll have a second yargle in the graveyard to maybe combo 
And Carnosaurs may be better when hard cast if we expect a bunch of removal. Alright, find another Yargle anyway. So we could also send in, I guess, Restless Vents. And then we don't need to sack Reunion yet. And then the Dragon can trade for Preacher. Yeah, that makes more sense. And once again, discard Yargle, or we can keep it to maybe set up Lethal with Bitter Union. So now maybe one Corpse Explosion can go. Alright, so we've got a few avenues to victory here. Opponent's still at 15, so they would draw with Preacher as opposed to making a blocker, which actually works out better for us. But uh, they're also more likely to have go for the throat to answer Yargle. Well, there's one now for the dragon. And Gix. So they do have a blocker for Yargle, but it's going to have to chum block. So that's one option. Or we can burn down the house. Now that they have two mana untapped, they might have spot removal for Yargle. So it's not quite as appealing anymore. So yeah, we'll just burn down the house, and then still happy to play a land for the turn. And then maybe next turn go for Carnosaur or a Hasty Yargle. If we draw Servitor, we can instantly play it and Corpse Explosion, so that could win us the game. So we're not in bad shape, although at 8 life only takes a few blitzed underdogs to kill us. Okay, hard cast Virtue of Persistence, so that's gonna attempt to reanimate our creatures, but now they're tapped out and a hasty Yargle can end the game for us. Alright, so we didn't get there with the Servitor, but uh, that's why we play Bitter Union over the alternatives, since a hasty Yargle can close out games out of nowhere. Alright, so we got to see our Yargle Explosion deck in action, and I've got to say it's definitely more effective than I thought it would be originally when the idea was presented to me. But uh, yeah, the fact that our deck can win with the Servitor combo, but can also kind of win a fair mid-range game where we just hardcast Carnosaur or attack the opponent with a hasty Yargle and Multani also works out quite nicely. And then both of our top-end creatures having six toughness also lines up quite well with our Burn Down the House. So yeah, overall quite satisfied with where the deck ended up. Still won't be a very competitive deck since it's a little slow to set up. So any good start from Mono Red Aggro or Boros Convoke, which you'll see a lot of in the rank ladder, are going to run the deck over but uh, still a fun time so that'll do it for today's gameplay want to thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day